Hey everyone! So today I am going to film uh, my June favorites. I realize it's a little bit late, but um, I'm here now and doing it. So um, first things first, um, one thing I want to talk about is the Violet Voss hashtag palette. Um, this actually released, I can't remember exactly when, but um, it was earlier in the year and it has um, quite a few warm tones. Um, oranges and purples. Um, I haven't really used it a lot since I got it, but um, now that the warmer months are here, I've been kind of leaning more towards warm toned eyeshadows. So um, I have been using this quite frequently and I'm thinking I'm actually going to do a look on my channel with this palette. Um, I really, really like the formula of Violet Boss eyeshadows. Um, the mattes blend really, really well and the shimmers are so, so pretty. They really, really pop on the eyes. So um, yeah, I'm definitely going to be doing a look on my channel with this palette and uh, yeah, definitely a favorite for the last month. Um, the other eyeshadow palette that I have is the Anastasia Soft Glam palette. Um, this to me is one of, it's, it's a perfect summer palette. You have all your warm tones, you have really nice blendable mattes, you have nice shimmer. Um, this is kind of an all-in-one palette. You can take it with you, do all sorts of different looks, whether you want it to be natural, you want to go deep with these browns and blacks and go smoky, you can do all sorts of things with this. And uh, yeah, I've been really loving this. Um, next thing is the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer. Um, the shade is the color Tease. I've been pretty much putting this on my lips every day. I really enjoy the formula of this. Um, I do find that it you do have to wait for it to kind of dry down because it will smear on your teeth, so just <laughs> kind of be aware of that. But uh, I really like this. It lasts, I'm going to say, maybe three to four hours. Um, but it's such a pretty nude, and I really enjoy that. Um, next product, <laughs> uh, next product I have is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt uh, highlighter in the shade Fire Crystal and Lightning Dust. It is a duo. Let's see if I can get it open. It's a duo, and these are really light tones. They're kind of light pinky tones. I'll swatch it on the back of my hand. So they look like that. I'm not sure if you can differentiate between the two, but um, it's a really nice light highlight if you have pale skin. Um, I really enjoy it. I actually usually mix the two together to do um, a nice bright highlight and uh, yeah, I've been using this quite a bit. Um, the next product I have is the Too Faced Peach Perfect um, Mattifying Loose Setting Powder. I really, really like this. Um, it is super finely milled put it on your face, it really sets down. Um, what I do enjoy about it is you can put it on and it doesn't completely mattify everything. It, you still get some dewiness showing through, so this is uh, really nice and it smells like uh, peaches, and yeah, I like that. Um, this was in my last month's video. It's the Maybelline Total Temptations Brow Definer, the shade Blonde. I've been pretty much using this every day to do my brows. Um, one thing I really like about this is it has the teardrop uh, shape to it and you can really, really do fine uh, brow hairs with it and um, it also has this spoolie. It's kind of a small spoolie but I, I really like the shape of it. It's kind of perfect for um, kind of blending everything out. Um, I have two mascaras, uh, Maybelline Lash Sensational and the CoverGirl Flourish by Lash Blast. These are the two that I've really been using a lot this month. I go in first with the Lash Sensational and then I finish off with the Lash Blast. And um, I use this for my, um, for my lower lashes because it's kind of a thin brush. I don't know if you can see that or not. But uh, yeah, I've been using this combination quite a bit this month, so these are my two favorites. Um, I have a couple foundations here. One is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Com Comfort Matte Foundation. Um, the shade I have here is porcelain, but this is a, it's a dark porcelain. Um, so I do have to mix it in a little bit or blend it down my neck um, in order for it to match the rest of my body. But um, I've been really liking this. It's, it lasts all day. You put it on. Um, I've gotten like 13, 14 hours of wear out of this and it really doesn't go anywhere. Um, and it is matte, but you still get like a little bit of a sheen through your skin. It's a nice kind of glow. And uh, yeah, I've been really liking this. Um, the other foundation that I have is from the drugstore. It's the Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation. 
Um, the shade I have is LN4. Um, this is probably hands down my favorite drugstore foundation right now. Um, it has the wand. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. But um, anyway, it, it lasts all day. It's got that nice um, dewiness to it. It's not like super dewy, but it's got like an, it's almost like a satin, a satin type finish. Um, I actually have it on right now and you can see like it's not, it doesn't have that oily glossy look, but it, it's definitely not matte and I really, really like it. The coverage is pretty good, probably about a medium coverage and yeah, I like it. And the last product that I have is the Spotlight Illuminating Primer from Physicians Formula. I have pretty much used this nonstop since I got it. Um, I just really, really like how it makes my skin look. It doesn't really fill in any pores or get rid of any texture or anything, but what it does do is it gives you that nice glowy base for the makeup that you put on top and I've been pretty much obsessed with this. I don't know if I can show you or not, but like you can see like I'm almost down to the very bottom of it. So um, I'm definitely gonna have to pick up another one of these, but yeah. So yeah, I guess that's uh, everything. All my favorite products for the month of June. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.